Hi friends, this is Dr. Joel once again. Um, today we're going to be talking about something very interesting, very important, okay? Um, and it has to do with uh, archaeology a little bit. And, uh, well, uh, this is a nice piece of... Uh, an item from Tlatilco, but it's broken. And this, uh, the little head used to be this way right here. And then he or she was grabbing the little dog. And I have, and I have the little dog over here that has been restored. A little bit now this piece is probably um, 1200 years uh, it could be more okay depending but um, I bought it from a from a collector and she claims uh, she bought it uh, about 1960s maybe before and uh, anyway, um, one, one way to know, I'm not an archaeologist, of course. I have studied archaeology, but uh, I'm not officially an archaeologist. So, um, But one, one way to know if these pieces are genuine or not is by the smell. And what I do is I, I put a little bit of uh, water or even my saliva a little bit and uh, it has a very strong smell of clay a distinctive smell of um, Mesoamerican pre-Columbian clay is very kind of strong and if you identify that smell then most likely this piece is genuine Another uh, clue to know if this piece is genuine is by uh, seeing a lot of these um, Mesoamerican pre-Columbian pieces. Um, they have a black, a black tone in the middle of the of the item, in the middle of the work. Okay. And this has that, and and no way, no way that someone did this because it got broken in the mail, okay? So, if you are a collector, <laughs> and if you buy pieces on eBay, like this piece, I bought it on eBay, and uh, uh, unfortunately, a lot of those pieces in eBay are, are not genuine. Okay, they're not real. Okay, but uh, taking advantage that uh, this piece was um, broken, I got to see the inside of the of the item of the artifact, and I can tell that this is genuine. And this is the other piece right here. See this black? This black is a good sign. It's like dirt. Okay, and the smell. Mm, very strong smell. I like the smell. Anyway, very strong cell, uh, smell. And uh, it's nice. So I know that this piece is actually genuine. Okay. Uh, uh, I will be very surprised if it's not. But like I said, it was broken in the mail. And uh, um, they're all also, uh, it has some patina. But patina over here, so and it doesn't look like it's uh, sprinkled by paint. So most likely, uh, this piece is, is genuine. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and restore it. I'm gonna go ahead and restore it, and then um, just to let you know, uh, if you sell your items, uh, go ahead and wrap them up very well you know, from inside, from outside, and uh, with a very strong box,
because uh, things get kicked in and kicked out in the mail. <laughs> and this is the US mail, by the way. Uh, no offense to the, the US, uh, the postman, the postman here in the US, but uh, some pieces get, uh, get broken. So uh, just keep in mind, do a good job wrapping it up. If for some reason you have to transport uh, a genuine piece like this one that it managed to survive at least uh, 1200 years, 1300 years, 1400 years, even 1500 uh, at least. And then very easy, it got broken in the mail. So go ahead, <laughs> think about it. Okay, thank you so much, I appreciate it. If you like this video, um, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you decide to subscribe, I would appreciate it. Uh, we talk about archaeology, we talk about ancient archaeology, aliens, and we also talk about psychology a little bit, and uh, astrology, and some of the uh, uh, subjects that um, they're very unusual. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You have a good week. Bye-bye.